That's me too. Yeah. Okay, we are recording. Good afternoon. Thank you for joining us as I host another conversation about self-care this afternoon. My motivation for these conversations stems from a survey that I completed recently where over 50% of the 85 plus women that responded shared that they wanted more self-care in their lives. And what better way than to sit down with a cup of tea or coffee and listen to my conversation today with Kristen Bentley. And I've got my tea. <laughs> Kristen is a coach and a developer of leaders, whole life leaders, leaders that realize that it is important that they understand who they are and what is important to them so that they can lead, create, and live their whole life in an authentic, life-affirming way. What Kristen wants for people can be summed up in two quotes. One by Joseph Campbell, the privilege of a lifetime is being who you are. And the other by Yoko Ono, you change the world by being yourself. And one of the things that I love about Kristen is the, 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 the random spontaneous bursts of cartwheels. <laughs> That's your sunshine part. Yeah, it's my sunshine, my playful child. Yeah, so. yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me today, Kristen. Oh, thanks for having me, Beth. Are you ready to dive in? Yes. Okay. Yeah. What does self-care mean to you? Ah, um, you know, the, the word self stands out, um, and self with a capital S. Uh, so to me, self-care is taking care of the self and that really ties in with what you said in my introduction so the the self with a capital s is the the authentic true version of you of, of, of i'll speak in first person because it's really what i practice and what i want for myself i want for others too um so it's really about nurturing that part that authentic part of you in whatever way that part of you needs to be nurtured Mm. I love that you bring in the word nurturing. I haven't heard that word yet uh, oh. in, in these conversations. And it, and it is so important because usually as we're being brought up in life, um, there's nurturing and there's also critical, you know, criticizing and then there's also indulging. And, oh. and uh, as adults, it's really learning how to discern between all three of them to bring in what, what is nurturing. Yeah, so. absolutely. Yeah. And I think that what you're speaking to gets in the way of self-care for people. I know it did for me The you know, the, the critical ways that I was raised had me create beliefs about self-care um, or, or, you know, to not even include self-care in my life, that self-care was selfish. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or indulgent. Yes. That's, exactly. that's the big one for me. So yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. What are your top three ways for taking care of yourself? Um, the first one is a, it, it's really taking care of my holistic needs. So um, mind, body, spirit, and emotional needs. So for my mind, and, and this I would include in one practice, it's, you know, um, my mind is really uh, nurturing that part of me that wants to learn, that wants to grow. And for that, one of the things that I absolutely love that truly feels like self-care and sometimes can feel indulgent, <laughs> I like your word, uh, is reading. I just, like, I just love feeding my mind with reading. Um, and for my body, it is exercise, it's moving it, it's getting out in nature, um, just really respecting the, the, the physical body that I'm in as part of myself. Um, and then the, the spiritual side of it is really having a spiritual practice, um, and, and there's so many, I believe, but one main one is meditating and starting out the day with meditation is a really important foundation. And then for my emotional needs, it's really, you know, knowing that my emotions matter, they deserve to be here and giving space to be with them. Um, yeah, so I would say that's one practice, um, taking care of my holistic needs. And then the second practice is that's been really fascinating for me um, is having a healthy relationship with time. Mm -hmm. I used to live a life that was very busy, very rushed. And as a result, I didn't prioritize myself in that busyness. So another, I love quotes. So here's another quote. And I think I've shared this with you before, Beth, 
um, is I've got this little picture that the quote is on too, so I don't know who it's by, but there's enough time for the important things in life. And so to really be in the essence of that and trust, trusting that, um, is a, is such an important practice for me and something I have to remind myself of over and over so I don't get caught up in that the 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 rush against time and the busyness right and the, and the need to achieve because that puts me in a place of not enoughness there's not enough time and then I'm not enough right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, it's funny, I'm just going to interject here for a second, because it's interesting that you're talking about time. And then right before that meditation, uh, Deepak and Oprah have just released a 21 day free uh, meditation that talks about time. Yes. And that was I am doing that, that practice. And that was part of what really brought it to the forefront is, you know, um, and why it's here as an answer, because I didn't consciously realize that it's a practice, but it is like, it's something that I, I, I have to check myself on over and over on a daily basis, on a weekly basis, a yearly basis. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. So in the third one was? Uh, the third one, I think it falls into self-compassion, loving kindness, acceptance, having a relationship with myself of um, being gentle rather than harsh and particularly around my self-care practice because I will fall off. And so really having the practice of gently noticing it and then allowing myself to come back to self-care. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah, I love that you brought that in because that's like the next question. And that's uh, how do you recognize when you're not taking care of yourself? Yeah. Well, how I recognize it is that I'm off. I'm just not myself. <laughs> like I, I feel disconnected to myself. Mm -hmm. I feel rushed. I feel hurried. I feel anxious. Um, I feel ungrounded. I think that that's a, the big thing I get from my self-care practice is a real grounding, mm -hmm. a solidity, a trust. And so any version of not that is how I recognize it. Mm -hmm. yeah. And what, what, what do you do to recover? Well, uh, yeah, the, the third practice that I said is a really yeah. important piece of the recovery. It's like, okay, notice and accept. Be mm -hmm. gentle with myself because then that's the, the piece that will then have me just simply recognize, oh, I haven't been meditating. It makes sense that I'm off. Or, you know what? I've got some emotions that are under here that I, I haven't honored. Um, or I haven't sat down and read that book that's just calling me, you know, uh, or I haven't been outside in nature. So mm -hmm. it's just that I think that recognition of noticing has me then um, get back into my practices. Mm -hmm. And it has to come uh, for me. And I believe for others, it has to come from this gentle place. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Not, you know, it, it's so easy to get to the, uh, the recognizing what I'm not doing. Mm -hmm. And uh, I love that the whole gentle bring that in as opposed to doing the to-do list. That's right. Yeah. Right. Uh, or, or coming from that critical. Yeah. Right? Like yeah. The hush. yeah. You know, like, Oh my God, I haven't been doing this. And, and I, you know, I need to do this, 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 and this. And, and we wonder why we end up being in that cycle over and over and over again of um, critic, you know, take be criticizing ourselves as opposed to really learning self care. And you brought in compassion mm -hmm. and, uh, and really practicing self compassion for ourselves. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Because it, it feels very incongruent to be critical with our self-care, <laughs> doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It can be kind of twisted sometimes, but yes, yeah. it's so true. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I've been there. I've been there for sure. <laughs> uh, um, yes, yes. I'm looking, I feel like I'm looking at the mirror because I have to, right? And uh, and I, it's, it's a practice of every day of re recovering and, and noticing and, and, uh, and, 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 accepting that perfection is is just it's it's something that is is unattainable and it's it's this pie in the sky that really is a letdown when you when you know like who wants to be perfect exactly so. yeah yeah it is unattainable as you said yeah. it's reaching for something that just it, like what is perfect anyways yeah. right like yeah <laughs> well you did it, it, yeah, i think it's an expectation of something that doesn't exist yeah I agree. And, and the, the thing that 
comes to my mind for me is, is that it's something that's external. Yes. As opposed to what's internal. Absolutely. And yeah. if we learn to return to self, mm-hmm. then uh, it helps to let go of that external need for uh, perfection, for recognition, for approval, because it all comes from within. So absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I, I really like that. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's something else to think about. Uh, you, one of the great things about these conversations is uh, just learning. We're getting to share with, you know, with other women and other people that are going to watch this yeah. as, as well as, as just going, Oh, I'm going to think about that for a little bit more for my own practice. So yes, yeah. very much. I look forward to hearing the responses from other people. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. Well, th- uh, hopefully w- what I'm inviting women to do is to uh, uh, make your comments as to w- anything that you've heard here that really stands out for you on this thread uh what are your practices what are your ways to recover oh and, good yeah and and do you have any questions um i i'd love to uh, answer or have a conversation and uh um, just to to help uh, open up this conversation about better self-care for self so mm-hmm. what is one thing that you would love to share for the sake of somebody who's listening you know what's really interesting? I'm going to have to read this to you because this is my tea has to share this with you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> my tea bag had the most brilliant message. Um, so let me just, I took a picture of it and I have to put my glasses on to read it. Um, the purpose of life is to know yourself and love yourself and trust yourself and be yourself. And it literally is on my little tea bag thing there. <laughs> Yeah. And to me, that just felt like it captured, um, it it captures the essence of -hmm. of both the essence of self-care, the purpose of self-care and the outcome of self-care. It's, yeah. Yeah. I love that you, I love that you speak to the outcome because like, why, why do we want to take care of ourselves? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. To know ourselves and to love ourselves and to trust ourselves. And, and honestly, I believe like the Yoko Ono quote says, you see, change the world by being yourself, right? When we are authentically ourselves, we come from a gentle place, a non-aggressive, non-violent place. Mm-hmm. So we care for ourselves first, put the oxygen mask on first in order to care for others. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm uh, second, to, third time I've heard this metaphor and I just, I absolutely love it. It's, yeah. it, it's a great way to know uh, and, and to actually see that uh, in, before I can take care of you, I have to take care of myself. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, and that really is what gives me the uh, ability to look out into the world and care and love and accept. And, and uh, it, I mean, it all starts with self. So yeah. yes, uh, mm-hmm. what a great way to finish. So thank you so much, Kristen. I, uh, I really appreciate your sharing with me today. And uh, as I just said before, uh, these uh, uh, videos are going to be up on Facebook and YouTube, but I believe the thread will be the thread. I will respond to all comments. Uh, if you'd like to get in touch with me, you can reach out on my private uh, or public Facebook page. Um, I look forward to uh, learning about your self-care practice. And remember, uh, have a great day and take good care of you. Thank Thank you. you. Okay.